So for more insight into all the latest political maneuvering, we welcome Alison Kaplan-Sommer, journalist at the Israeli Haaretz newspaper. Alison, good to see you as always. Thank you for your time. So Ra'am shocked many with the so-called freeze of its support in recent weeks. Now reports suggest it won't quit the coalition but may prolong the freeze, so to speak. Talk us through the implications here for this very fragile coalition. Right, so I guess it's the political equivalent of having your cake and eating it too, trying to freeze its part participation in the coalition as a sign of protest of uh, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's tougher line on uh, the Al-Aqsa Mosque and permitting uh, Jewish prayer there and the inflamed tensions between Jews and Arabs in that very sensitive spot. Um, and, uh, and and trying to keep this uh, this coalition together, knowing that according to recent polls, there's a good chance that uh, that it will lose its powerful position as a kingmaker that it holds in uh, in this coalition. It's kind of a historic moment um, in Israeli history in which the uh, the fate of the current Israeli government uh, sits in the hands of an Islamic uh, tribal council uh, sitting in the uh, the village of. Uh, of Kfar Qasim, but it's uh, it's really up to the uh, the Ram party at this point um, whether it wants to stand by the coalition or let a uh, preliminary uh, bill tomorrow, uh, which would dissolve the Knesset and uh, and be the first step towards new elections, uh, pass. So uh, the fate is in the hands of Ram tonight. So certainly all eyes on that meeting and any outcome, of course if and when that does happen. But Alison, as you alluded to, the bill to dissolve parliament, if it passes a preliminary reading tomorrow, it's downhill from there. How do you see this all unfolding? What happens next? Well, there's so many elements at work here. I mean, really, uh, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett is stuck in the middle and it's a v some very interesting news, uh, you know, coming out of these reports from the uh, the Shura Council that Ram only wants to deal with uh, Yair Lapid, um, the uh, you know alt alternate uh, prime minister and foreign minister, which is a really uh, tough blow to the, any kind of leadership legitimacy that uh, that prime minister Naftali Bennett. So the three key elements here is, as we said, the Ram party, and then we've got the joint list, which is in the opposition, which you know um, could sa potentially save the coalition if it decided to. Uh, to switch sides in a dissolving uh, vote and uh, and and vote to hold the uh, hold the coalition together and the Knesset together, which officially speaking, um, uh, the the jointless party says that it will not do. Right. However, today there was no confidence votes and they uh, and they supported the government. And then the third element, obviously, are the right wing members in Naftali Bennett's own Yamina party, which right. uh, which say that, you know, they may not be able to hold it together. So really, these are the three key players. And um, it seems that this government is doomed. It's a question of when, not if it's going to, uh, to end and uh, right. we're headed towards new elections.